What's your little magical thing that you're doing now? Our magical thing that we're doing is we're, we're teaching the world to dance on mobile media devices. Mobile media device could be an iPod or a cell phone, and we're going to use cell phones today to demonstrate the concept. This is neat. Would you like to see it? Yeah, I'd like okay. to see that. What we have here is what's called a Palm Trio. It's a, a more advanced cell phone than you would normally, than most people have. Yeah, I guess well, so. It's got a whole also, keyboard on it. We also, have a Motorola, <laughs> we also have a Motorola phone that we'll be looking at here shortly. But basically what we've done is these devices are capable of playing video and audio. So we've recorded dance lessons and put them on the phone so that anyone can learn to dance anywhere in the world, in fact. And we've put it into a system where we can learn to dance together and also have a portable dance floor and we'll be showing you that. So what I'd like to do at this time is just simply have Anne take a short little dance lesson on the phone for us. Okay? On the phone, sure. And we're going to go ahead and do waltz. So Anne's going to hold the video in her hand. Okay. And she's going to take a dance lesson. Okay. I'm watching. Back and forth hesitation, okay. One, two, three, four, five, okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. I can do this. You can do it. Hey, cool. So if you can, so there's also a third pattern on here that involves turning, and because of our microphones, we're not going to be able to do mm -hmm. the turning today. But Anne just took a dance lesson. In about three minutes, she learned how to do the waltz, some basic patterns. The second part of what we're designing is a tool that allows us to learn to dance together. So what I'd like to do is take the phone, and we call this the dance holster. The whole system we call the study buddy, so we can learn to dance in a fun way. So I'm going to take the holster that I've wrapped my phone in, the piece of uh, vinyl that I've wrapped my that. phone in, and then I'm going to uh, put on the holster so that my partner can watch the video and we can dance. What well, is that clever? Together, so that because usually the main challenge in learning dancing is not learning the steps, but it's remembering the steps. So what we'd like to do is make it easy for everyone by. Uh, taking the information with you wherever you go, anytime, anywhere. So you're going to think you're a school card here, <laughs> a crossing guard. It, it, does, uh, it does have a, a, a funky look to it right now. Uh, we're in the prototype stage, and we do plan on uh, getting some funding. Well, this isn't something with you're going to go to a, ba a ballroom dance and wear. Correct. This is for studying in your home. I love the new set here, mm -hmm. and it's just like you're dancing at home, mm -hmm. and uh, that's what we hope to do. In the 20s and 30s, the way dancing really got popular was everybody would get together, put some music on, and dance in their home. Mm -hmm. Today, a lot of people have settings just like we have here, a fireplace and a carpet. Move the chairs out of the way. Move the chairs out of the way, and then you also want to bring in the dance in time portable dance floor. You can see it's very small. Do you have this patented? It's a great hardwood surface. <laughs> We're applying for the patent today, as a matter of fact. I'm glad you asked that question. So what we have here is a portable dance floor that you can okay. use in your living room, and you can pack up and put out of the way whenever you're, you're not using it. And then what we can go ahead and do is put the video back on. And this time we'll have a video that has the music in it. Can you see the video in? I see perfect. And we can take a bow. Yay!